everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. When you think about topics that are controversial in science, you probably think of things like stem cells, maybe evolution, but you probably don't think of death and what it means to be dead. Dead is just when you're not alive anymore, right? These days, death is a conclusion that we come to after we take certain measurements. Most commonly, if your heart's beating, if your brain's doing stuff. Oh, your heart's beating? Okay, good job, keep up the good work. Oh, it's not? Eh. You're dead. Sorry, happens to the best of us. We have fancy instruments to take this measurement, like EEGs and EKGs to measure your brain activity, measure your heart rate, and that's all good, but it's also kind of new. Rewind 100 years ago and people would determine death in kind of weird ways, like pulling on someone's nipples to see if they'd wake up, or a tobacco smoke enema. Literally blowing smoke up your ass to see if you're alive. Something to look forward to when you die, right? Yay! During these not so long ago times when hospitals thought someone was dead, they'd put them in a little room to hang out for a while to make sure they didn't get up and walk out before they would declare the person dead. Because historically, it wasn't uncommon to bury someone alive. Straight up put them in a coffin, you're putting them in the ground, and they're like, Hey, um, can someone let me out of here? Oh, whoops, your smoke enema came back positive, so we kinda thought you were dead. This actually still happens once in a while. Just recently, there was a kid in Brazil who died of a pneumonia, and in the middle of his funeral, he just sat up and asked, Daddy, can I have a glass of water? And then he laid back down and went back to being dead. Of course, all the people at this funeral are like, um, okay, what just happened? The truth is, scientists are still trying to figure out what this death thing's all about. There was a study that was released recently where they looked at 54 patients who were brain dead, and they managed to get five of them to modulate some brain activity, meaning that even though they were declared brain dead, for a few of them, there was some brain alive going on. So the moral of the story, basically, we have yet to figure out the exact boundary between dead and alive. Our definitions change throughout time, and it's all because of the technology that we have have to take a closer and closer look at that gray area. And seeing how much of our definition of dead has changed even in the last hundred years, it's kind of nuts to think about where we might be in a hundred more. I'm just waiting to the point where we can be like, oh yeah, great great grandpa Joe, can you do that little brain thing to me so I can ask him a question? Totally possible, right? Shh, don't shatter my dreams, guys. All right, let me know your thoughts on this. How do you think we should determine when someone's dead? I mean, Honestly, how far should we allow our technology to run on this one? I'll be reading the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for your next D-News update.